Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Um, I tell you, I have a little story behind this item right here, okay? Um, now, here is the box and the stuffing and everything. And I went ahead and I opened the box just for uh, time's sake. And one of the things that I noticed, I'm like, I don't have a receipt for this item, okay? And this was purchased online. Well, actually, I called the 1-800 number because the item was not available online and they connected me to a store. Now, let's back up a little bit. Um, I had, uh, like I said, called the 1-800 number and they connected me to a store in the uh, Las Vegas area. And um, so I spoke to the young lady there and I was going to put this item on my credit card. And I ran into a problem because my um, I have all my mail going to my P.O. box, okay? Because we had some people going around in our neighborhood, going into our mailboxes and taking stuff out, you know, for fraud purposes. So I said, you know what? I'm just going to go get a P.O. box. And that way, if people on YouTube or whatever, anybody wants to send me mail, it's easier have a P.O. box. Well, for Louis Vuitton, you have to have a physical address for them. Well, actually, the address that you're going to have the item shipped to has to match your credit card, your, your billing address. And mine's didn't because Louis Vuitton does not ship to P.O. boxes. Okay. So uh, the young lady said, I went online and I changed my billing address for the credit card to my shipping address, which was going to be my job. So uh, she tried to run it and it didn't go through. And so she said, you know what, um, maybe it might take 24 hours to, you know, for things to be, um, um, you know, uploaded in the system uh, for my credit card. So I said, okay. So she said, you know, I'm going to put this on reserve uh, so no one will purchase it and I'll try first thing in the morning. So I said, okay. So I think it was... Maybe, I can't remember, I think it was Friday, it might have been Saturday, I can't remember what day I had called her, but it, it was it was late. And so um, the next day came and I didn't hear from her, so she had given me her um, her phone number. So I first I text her, and I text her like in the afternoon, because she said she was going to do it in the morning, and you know, I didn't want to, you know, be all up in her face, you know, first thing in the morning. So I waited till like 1, 2 o'clock, and I text her. I said, you know, did you happen by, you know, by chance, get an opportunity to, you know, to, to run my credit card? So I didn't hear back from her. So some hours had passed. I said, well, you know, maybe she didn't get the text message. So I called her and left her a message, and so she never responded. So I said, you know what? That's it. I'm not, I don't want to, I don't want to run after her. You know, I don't want to keep harassing her. So what I did was I called the 1-800 number back again and I told them that I know uh, the store in Vegas has it. So anyway, they connected me to a store, but it was a different store. So um, I gave the gentleman my information. I didn't tell him anything about what had happened, you know, the day before. And so anyway, he ran it and it went through. And he said, you know, he was going to email me a confirmation and receipt and stuff like that. I never got a confirmation. Um, I think it was Sunday, maybe. But anyway, Monday came around. And so I called the 1-800 number and I told him, I said, well, you know, give it some time. Anyway, I never received a confirmation, never received anything, no receipt, no confirmation. So I'm like, well, did they ship the item out? So I called on Thursday and the 1-800 number and I told her what happened so she looked it up so she goes well actually the item was delivered to the address on um on Wednesday well I wasn't at my my job so anyway it was there and so I went and I picked up the item and I just opened it up and I'm looking I'm like I have no receipt all that was in here was the box and you know the the stuffing and that's that and I'm like what is going on here so anyway <laughs> You know, um, let me go ahead and do this unboxing. So, uh, not unless it's in here. Oh, you know what? I take that back. My bad, my bad. The receipt was underneath the box here. So, okay. Thank God. Because I'm like, what is going on here with Louis Vuitton? Now they're not sending out invoices. So, anyway, here is the proof of purchase right here. Thank God that was straightened out, you know, because I expected it to be in the box. I didn't know that he was going to slide it up underneath here. Okay. So anyway, um, 
here is the item right here in the dust bag. And he didn't, unfortunately, let me see. Did he? I had asked him to include some perfume samples and he he didn't include any perfume samples. So I guess I better be lucky that I got the daggone bag, right? So um, anyway, here it is right here. It is this limited edition. Um, and I got the one, of course, with the red. And, um, you know, this is my first time ever purchasing a, um, a limited edition for the animation, you know, the Christmas uh, limited edition. I never before because none of the items really spoke to me. You know, they weren't anything that I was like, oh, you know, I really want to have that. This one right here did for a couple of reasons. One, you already know because of the red. And the other thing I really love about this is it has the, um, the red interior here. And a lot of times, you know, they have, you know, just the brown interior. And here's the the information and stuff. Um, you know, here's the, uh, what is it, the model number and um, this little tag right here. But I really, really love that it had the red inside of it as well. And um, I love the lion and the cheetah. And I just thought that was really, really beautiful. My birthday is, is August 23rd. And I'm kind of, I'm on the cusp of a Leo and a Virgo. So that is another reason why I wanted this piece too, is because of the lion that's on it, you know? So yeah, so I just thought, I was really, really happy that they finally put, you know, um, a different color interior inside, you know, cause that matches the red that's here. And um, normally they're like brown, you know, and I'm like, why can't they, you know, especially since it's for Christmas and limited edition, why can't they do something a little special, you know, you know, something different than, you know, what the regular uh, inside uh, typically looks like. So um, I was kind I almost was thinking about getting the uh, Damier Azor one because I really like the colors in that too. But for me, I typically use this piece, um, as a little mini, a little mini purse, and I uh, wear it with jeans, and I take this chain right here, and I feed it through the belt loops, and I leave it hanging like that, so I know that um, that wasn't going to work with the Damier Azur. I would have color transfer, and I don't want to deal with that, but um, yes, there was something else I think I was going to say about this piece. I can't remember. Um, but yeah, anyway, I just am so glad that I have this. Um, oh, I know the other thing I was gonna I was gonna say. This is the only one, the uh, Dame Azor, and the other one that has the fuchsia inside. Those ones were available online when I was looking for them. But this is the only one that wasn't available online. So I guess this is a more popular one. I don't know. But the last time I looked. Um, you were able to get the other two online. So, but this one right here, I was checking, checking, and I, I, I couldn't. But anyway, I am glad that I finally got my hands on it. I am so glad that I did come with the receipt. And uh, so the only thing that I did not get was my perfume samples. But, you know, that whatever. I can always go down um, when I'm in the area and get some perfume samples. So I'm not going to trip on that. Um but yeah, and it did come with a, a dust bag because the first chick, when I had told her I wanted a dust bag, she was like, I don't think they come with dust bags. And I'm like, well, I don't know, but I would like one. So um, anyway, so yeah, so that is my unboxing. Um, I hope everyone is doing well. And today is what? Sunday, November 18th. And I'm going to try it. I don't know when I'm going to upload this video right here. But yeah, so anyway, I'm glad I have this. I was able to score it. And um, so that's pretty much it. So everyone have a wonderful and blessed week. And I will see you guys in my next video. Mm -hmm.